Welcome to the Marmalade 7 Beta SDK with our brand new interface, The Hub. The Hub is a new central tool for managing all of your Marmalade projects. It combines configuration, building and deployment into a single easy to use interface. At the top you can see buttons for the different Marmalade products, Marmalade C++, Marmalade Quick for Lua and Web Marmalade for HTML5 JavaScript. There's also now integration of license management directly into the hub. So click this button to release the license from this machine and then consume directly on another machine. On the left are high level options and access to various tools. A new one is the dependency checker. The dependency checker lets you make sure you have everything installed and set up to get a build onto a specific platform. We'll have a quick look at that now. Here you can see different options. The main one is IDE selection. You'll need an IDE if you want to do C++ development. I've got Visual Studio 2010 Express installed, but I can pick other IDEs from this drop-down list and it'll check they're installed and configure the SDK to pick them up. For Windows Phone 8 development, you'll also need a separate IDE. I've got Visual Studio Express 2012 for Windows Phone. Then for other platforms, you'll need things like signing and deployment certificates. So I've already got iPhone set up, but for Android, I might want to install the Java JDK to build extensions and the ADB driver to do on-device debugging. Over on the right here are a couple of icons that appear throughout the hub. There's a maximize button to fill the view with the most important part, and a targets button. This lets you configure which targets are available throughout the hub. At the top is a navigation menu. You can go backwards and forwards anytime, or click the home button to always return to the Marmalade Hub home screen. We're going to open and build a C++ project. So click the Marmalade C++ button, and it takes you to the My Projects view. This shows all the projects you're currently managing with the hub. You can create new projects and import projects. Import isn't supported in this version, but in the final version of Marmalade 7, you'll be able to import any project from any version of Marmalade. On the right here, you now have direct access to help and documentation. This will take you straight to the online docs and access to tutorial code and examples. We'll click that and it gives you a list of all the different kinds of tutorials and examples shipped with the SDK. With Marmalade 7, there's a brand new tutorial that shows you a full game from start to finish in both C++ and Lua. We're going to look at something a little bit simpler, so I'll click the system button. This shows low-level system API access, so for example, file APIs, location APIs, socket APIs. I'm going to look at accelerometer. This example shows you how to use the accelerometer with Marmalade. I could launch directly in the simulator here or open it as a project. Click open as project and it adds it to your My Projects view. Pick the project here, click open project, and this will open in the brand new project view in Marmalade Hub. The project view combines various things from other tools that used to exist in Marmalade 6, but now they're in one simple, easy to use interface. On the left here, I can pick the platform and configuration. And on the right here, I have a log that shows what's going on at the moment. The summary view gives you high level information and the full log shows you exactly what's happening in the background. We'll start by doing a simulator deployment. So I pick Simulator x86 from the platform list. By hitting Run here, it launched directly in the simulator. No need to open an IDE anymore. The simulator is currently set to a specific device size. If I go to Surface, I can pick from a preset list of different devices, or I can set the width and height myself. Also set things like pixel type and orientation. For this example, the accelerometer controls are quite useful. You get pretend accelerometer here and with the mouse I can control the different axes. Click exit and go back to the hub. I'm now going to make a deployment for a device. So I'm going to pick an iPhone build. Underneath here you can now see there's a configuration option. There's a default configuration that's already made for me but I can create new ones. These configurations are a replacement for the configurations that we used to have in Marmalade 6. Now configurations are platform specific. If I go to Edit Current, I can set different options. So these have been split into Basic, Advanced and Project. Projects are generic cross-platform options like icons, signing identity, version numbering. The other two are iPhone specific. So we have things like iPhone specific icons and splash screen. And on the Advanced tab, things like signing and custom manifests. Back in the project view, I'm going to leave all the options as they are and just build straight from the hub again. At the bottom here, I can pick the build type, so debug or release, for whether I want tracing and assertions. And on here, I can select the loader type as well. So with a release loader, there'll be less extra information coming out in the trace. I'm going to leave the compiler as GCC. 
If I want, I can click Open in IDE. This will launch my selected IDE, which is Visual Studio 2010 Express, and I could build and run from here if I wanted. But the same as with the simulator, I can do it straight from the hub now. Hit package only, and it'll build and deploy my package. So it spat out an IPA for iOS. If I click the folder icon on the right here, you can see the built IPA. Double click that to open in iTunes and push to device. Here you can see a brand new example game built by our own Marmalade Game Studio that ships with Marmalade 7. It's included as both a C++ and a Lua version with a full tutorial walkthrough of how to build the game from scratch. Visit developer.madewithmarmalade.com for more information and to check out new versions of the Marmalade 7 documentation. Thanks for using the beta version of Marmalade 7. Please provide feedback via the Community Answers section.